This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm a lucky dog, baby. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only, a father on the recliner. Wow! So this guy, P, he goes by just P, that's it. Nothing else. No name, no, no first name, no last name, just P. <laughs> okay, he said, I destroyed my channel, right? Okay, let me explain something to you, P. Can you at least tell me what the P stands for? Like, <laughs> I think we could all guess, right? But anyway, um, let me explain something to you, P. When you say I destroyed my channel, I don't think you really understand what my true dream is and what my true goal is. Um, my true goal is to make this a food channel. All right, ultimately, it's going to eventually transition into this. Not, not, not overnight. It's going to be, you know, a process because, you know, first of all, I have to make the money because I want to travel. Here's what my dream is. My dream is I want to buy a beautiful limousine, beautiful limousine, maybe whatever it is, you know, something top, top notch. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. Um, and then I'm going to hire a driver who I'll pay him a nice salary, an annual salary. And I'm going to sit back. You know, my family's welcome to come with me as well. And if they want to, if they don't want to, my wife probably is just going to be like, you go, I'll stay over, relax, you know. And I'll take the, the the liberal driver who will drive me all around the country. And what I want to do is eat. Like, I want to go to the best restaurants all around the country. And, of course, I'm going to film it. And uh, who knows, maybe at that point, who knows. Maybe I'll have someone film the videos for me, who knows, I don't know. Well, I'll get one of those like GoPro. I'll become I'll become a true professional at that point. Right now, I'm just amateur night at the Apollo. And, you know, I know I do everything wrong. I hold the phone in the wrong the wrong way. I don't do nothing right. But it's just all for fun right now. But anyway, when I get to that type of level where I have my own limo, I have my own driver, you know, of course, I'm talking about after I'm successful with AMC and I'm successful with GameStop and... Uh, Bed, bad to be odd. So when I finally get to a point where I'm at like a millionaire status, which I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm not a millionaire. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not struggling. You know, I have a house, I have some money, I have some gold, some silver. You know, I got a portfolio, but I'm not a millionaire. You know what I mean? So I got a long way to go. So when that day comes and I become a millionaire, that's my dream, and that's where I really see my YouTube channel going. A limo, a limo driver, you know, take me to whatever. Let's go to Virginia. Let's go to whatever it is. Let's go to North Carolina. Let's go to South Carolina. Let's go to Georgia. Let's go to Alabama. We'll go visit Teddy Zane. You know what I mean? So wherever I go, I'm going to find out what the really top-rated restaurants are, and I'm going to go there. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to explain to the owner that I do uh, YouTube reviews of restaurants. You know, it's funny. I told I told the guy at Enzo. I was at Enzo's Italian restaurant. This is at Tom's River the other day. We ate there, me and my wife and my family. And, you know, the guy was seeing me on the phone, the way he kept asking me questions. He's like, well, you know, what are you doing? You know? So I said, no, I have a YouTube channel. I do reviews. I didn't mention to him that I also, you know, talk about AMC and GameStop. I just said I do reviews on restaurants. You know, it's funny. They treated me like a king. At that point, and my wife, right? What happened? The owner of the chef came out. Yeah. When I I, I was in the bathroom, or something. But the chef came out like, and he was so like proud, you know, that we were doing a review of his restaurant, and he was just, thank you, thank you. How is everything? Is everything to your liking? Right? He was talking to my wife, yeah. and she's like, oh, oh, right, Jen. How did you like Enzo's? No, it was excellent. It was really good. It's one of my favorites. Right? Delicious yeah. food. I mean, if you're ever in Tom's River. New Jersey, that one I give a 10 yeah. out of a 10. A 10 out of a 10 rating. Seriously, that was perfect. Everything, everything was perfect. I mean, there was literally not one thing we ate. You, If you look at my, if you want to see some of the food, look at, you know, the Ape Father, you know, Enzo's Italian restaurant. I just did it like a couple of days ago. So anyway, so P, Gabish, I'm just going to say Gabish. If I'm saying it wrong, too bad. I like. I just like the way Gabish sounds better than Cabish. I guess Cabish is the right way. I like Gabish. I don't know. I don't say nothing right. I don't even speak English. I told you one time I was on the phone with somebody. I was in a sales, sales 
I work for a sales company, a real estate marketing company. I called up some guy and said, listen, we only scrutinize because we were talking about like, a, actually, this was stocks. Forgive me. I said real estate marketing. You know, this is what I was working as a stockbroker. Forgive me. Forgive me. I said to the guy, listen, this particular stock, this is, this is a winner. He goes, really, really? I'm excited. I said, let me tell you something. I said, I only circumcise one to maybe two or three companies a year. So, you know, it's so funny. Everybody was listening to me in the office. And they're like, what? Circumcise. And even the guy said it. He said, did you just say you circumcise <laughs> one or two, three companies a year? I said, no, excuse me. I mean, I scrutinize. I scrutinize. So the thing is, I don't speak English that well. What do you want from me? You're all breaking my balls. Cabbage, cabbage, what's the difference, right? Tomato, tomato, who cares? Potato, potato, hey, oh. Oh, e, e, o, i, e, o, o. <laughs> you know who did that? You know who I'm imitating? You probably don't know who I'm imitating. The other day I was watching, uh, I watched Analyze This and Analyze That with uh, Robert De Niro or Billy Crystal. If you haven't seen those movies, I, I think everybody probably saw these two movies, but you got to watch it. It's so funny. So there was this one part where uh, Billy Crystal was representing uh, Robert De Niro. He was crying at home because Billy Crystal was the psychiatrist and he made him think about his father and he just broke down in tears and he couldn't attend this big mafia meeting. So he went down there as a constant Yeti, but he couldn't say it right. So then he smacked that 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 other guy. <laughs> I forget his name, you know. Don't ever correct me, Jelly. Don't ever correct me. You got you understand. And he was like, <laughs> he says, I'm the consigneri. Remember? So he was trying so hard to talk, you know, Italian. He kept saying, hey, oh, I, e. He's like the vowels, you know. <laughs> He's so funny, uh, Billy Crystal, man. Uh, great movie. But anyway, um, so. P, I don't think I ruined my channel. My channel hasn't even begun yet. You know the carpenters, right? We've only just begun to eat, baby. <laughs> A whole lot of restaurants. Limo driving me around. All over the United States of America. <laughs> you got to dream. There's nothing wrong with having dreams. Got a dream. AMC and GameStop to Pluto. <laughs>